Hi guys, it's Deb. Welcome to another day in, or two with um, Crafting Every Day in May. And this is hosted by Jan's Crazy Life. Hi Jan. Um, there are 38 participants, including myself and Jan. Um, and they are going to be listed below the video. So please do go check them out. We're not posting every day, all of us. Uh, some of us are. Some of us are like once a week, some like me are every couple days. Um, so what I'm here to bring you is day 15 and 16. So the 15th was Tuesday and the 16th was Wednesday. Um, so the 15th, I made these four spools and these are out of um, a Prima wild and free a4 collection kit paper pad they call it a kit because i didn't know it when i got it out but it has um punch outs and stickers in the back and cut aparts and things so yeah um i didn't realize that when i first started using it and when i was making these anyway i did figure it out later on day 16. Anyway, um, so let's see, which ones did I do? I did this one first. Well, these are for Debbie Vignola's challenge she has going on. So hi, Debbie. Um, I hope these are okay. She wanted some like spool tags so she can wrap ribbon around and store them, you know, like this or like this, um, which I think is a great idea. So I had four pieces of cardboard that were about like this, not the heaviest cardboard, but not real flimsy either. And so I cut them all to four by six, and then I measured, I left this at like three quarter inch on either end, um, and just went in an inch on each side, because I wanted to leave a nice bit here to wrap the lace around. And then I covered both sides with paper so I cut them, cut them out, and I had not rounded them at this point. I waited till I got the paper on, and then I just rounded all the outer edges with my one-inch uh, corner rounder by EK Success. It's a punch. Um, and then, let's see, I did use the Sharpie Gold Paint Marker. It's the medium paint marker. Metallic... Uh, metallic gold it says paint pen and it's oil based I just went all around the edges with that just so so the cardboard wouldn't look you know show through and I guess oh and then I put some um, flowers on I don't have them out anymore so I'm not sure what brand they were and I had a few of these already made um, store-bought flowers that had the pearl centers and I did make them into like a tag, so I put a little ribbon on, mostly just so you could see what, what the top was. <laughs> and I only decorated the tops, and I tried to keep it sort of flat so they wouldn't stick out too much. But you can turn them, you know, alternate them. So anyway, that's the first one. And I love this paper. It's like um, roses here, and then this has real faint butterflies and things in the back it's like pink and tans and whatnot and there I go with the whatnot again <laughs> anyway um, this is the second one it's that same faint butterfly paper but the back I used the back of one of the papers and then I just put um, a strip of the a different paper which you'll see in a minute um, and I just put one little flower on the back there and a smaller one of the doily type flowers in at the top on this one. And then this one, um, the back is like a map paper and this has the little butterflies, but it's a different one. It's, um, it's got like these little lights in the background. And I just took the tiny little flowers and did a loop around the, um, the whole and I put a piece of ribbon here and here, just across to accent it. And that's it. I didn't do much with these. And same, this one's the same. <clears throat> and I thought I had one um, feather paper, I guess. Oh, 
No, I guess I didn't use that on me. Sorry. Or it was the back. Oh, no, this is it. The one with the roses actually has, <clears throat> excuse me, feathers also on it. But you, the, you kind of can't see them real good. These are actually feathers. So those are my four spool tags. Um, she said you could either make these or um, fabric flowers, but I can't do the fabric flowers just yet. So I need, uh, I, I probably can, I just need to practice it before I send any in. And I haven't had a chance to practice it. So that was day 15. And here is day 16. I made four IC cards. The first two, and I'll show them in order, I made um, using scraps from the day 15. So I don't know if you can see, but these are just strips of the paper that I had used um, front, front, fronts and backs. And the backs had more black in it. So I took a piece of um, lace trim that uh, Christine Harris had gifted me. Here there was a thin strip of black similar to, but not exactly like this one. And I just put the center of the black lace there and then I glued it down. Um, <clears throat> over here I was looking through my wood veneer pieces and I found this lamp post. So I just colored it with alcohol ink and and this. And guys, I, know, I discovered that when you use alcohol ink on wood, it comes out darker than what the color shows on paper. Which makes sense because it's the color of wood. So sorry. It is like quarter four in the morning and I actually did sleep a little bit. But anyway, I woke up. I'm so sorry. Anyway, um, the wood veneer is a darker color than white paper. So it makes sense. But um, yeah, so I just did it in pink and then used gold to accent it and behind it you won't be able to tell this but I colored in um, with a fluorescent yellow to sort of make it like light shining through but I might add some stickles too to make it glimmer I haven't I haven't done that yet some of these little flowers which are also Prima I don't remember what the pack name is and I have some down around the base of the lamppost and over here in this corner this heart is the center of a um, heart doily. I just cut the center part out. And then these words, it says, Every Dream That Lingers. And that is from Tim Holtz's Creatology or something like that. Um, yeah. Clipping stickers, I think they're called. This little bow is from off -Ride, but I put a, um, a bead landing flatback pink pearl in the middle because the little white pearl that was on it fell off and then just another little flower there and then this double sided uh, these double flat back trims those were from Michael's a year ago they had them in their used to be dollar dollar fifty bins um, so I put some of them down and this little charm that had been gifted to me a while back which when you flip it over it says uh, create created for you and um, I used a little bit of this Eslon um, thread, tied it onto the, the butterfly, I tied it through the lace, and then knotted it at the top and, and to kind of hide that and also hold it down better, but still let it have some movement, I put the flat backs up here. And that's about it on that one. Uh, oh, I did ink around the edges with the gold um, marker. And I think that's it on that one. So then the next one was also a piece together one, but it didn't have as much black. It was more the front sides. So this one had the feathers in the paper here and a couple places. I think on this one it had some. So I remembered that I had these feathers. So I went digging to find them. They're Crafter Square, so I think that is Dollar Tree. Um, maybe. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm not sure. But anyway, they're Crafter Square brand, and I've had them in my closet now for a while. This is another wood... Oh, um, 
but on the feather it was real you know really bright pink so I just um, took a antique linen distress marker and just went over the edges of the feathers a little bit to make them look a little more old if you will but I still want to pink and then the butterfly is a wood veneer piece and again I um, I used alcohol marker on it and I used two shades of a pink but it ended up looking more red but when I put the stickles on the glitter glue it actually sort of made it look goldy yellowish and that actually matches the back of the paper better but his little antennae broke off so I had to draw them on and I used a um, Sakura glaze pen for that this isn't the one but it looks you know they look like this by Sakura oh here it is here's the one um, it just says glaze Sakura and it's, this is the black one and then put the little stickles down there over here this is another one of the Tim Holtz clippings it says if they were let to fly away because this is all about the feathers and the birds flying um, and it also has a postal postal carte postal um, so you know postage might fly also anyway I put some trim around it I popped that up and then I put some of this gold trim around that I had got at an estate sale actually for like 10 cents or something a few more of the little flowers here and just one down at the end of the feather um, and then a little bit more of that um, pearl trim just around this little square that is on the it wasn't a different paper it was the same part but it separated so I just accented that little floral piece and then all around the edges I used diamond stickles over top the gold marker pen which is on the edges but then um, gold diamond stickles all around the edges and it just makes it shine so pretty I don't know if you can even see that because it's, it's too bright I think but I love that one <laughs> So that's second one and then the next two let me just move this um, this was the next one I did this paper um, was connected this is like the top part of the paper you know the um, hang on this part here that you usually tear off it has like on the Prima one it has a hole in it so it was that part and I just made it into a tab for that particular paper um, by gluing the paper on above the card that I had on the back so it says just breathe and and what what I noticed is there were cut aparts and the rest of the cut apart said have faith that everything will work out for the best so just breathe and have faith that everything will work out for the best so I sort of cut it out rough um, then this was a sticker out of the stickers and it just had the flowers with the ro the roses with the feathers just like the paper over here so I popped that on um, but this is a little piece of that doily that I had cut I laid that down first and then I laid the tag over it put three little flowers on um, put gold stickles around that banner as well as around the words here and then down the side over here as well and I have a little bird here who all I did he's a wood veneer bird and all I did was um, painted him gold with the gold paint marker and that's it on that one that one Jan will probably be going to you as one of your two and this will probably be the next one same idea here um, this paper had this at the top already so the paper was really pretty but the piece I had only went to like here so I paper pieced another um, scrap on um, and it was the one that looked like this so I pieced that across the bottom um, this is another piece of lace that Christine Harris had gifted me and then I saw this today 
um, sticker in the sticker pack that or sticker sheet that came in the paper pad. Um, so and this girl was in there too, and it says flowers in her hair. But I found this in the Tim Holtz, and so I was like, today she wanted no reminder of realities and responsibilities. So I thought that went good with the image of the girl. Um, and I have a thing with flowers in my hair. If I go out on walks in the summertime, I often will pick up a wildflower and stick it in my, you know, my hair behind my ear. Just something I've done since I was young. And then this is another wood veneer. I, I um, used alcohol ink to paint the leaf green in two shades, which you can't tell. And the flower actually was a pink, but again, I put the stickles on and it sort of made the alcohol ink fade and turn into different colors. And I love how that looks. I love how that turned out. I may have to try that again. <laughs> so it made some of the alcohol ink like come off, I guess. Um, but I love it because flowers aren't perfect, right? They change color. So that's on, um, that was, um, diamond stickles. And I did just use a little diamond stickles across the top, um, around this little today and a little bit in the flowers in her hair. And that's it on that one. So that's the other one, Jan, since you wanted some either leave room for tabs, but you can cover up the tabs with names or whatever if you want, um, that way you don't have to worry about putting them on. I hope that's okay. Or if you'd rather have the ones without the tabs, let me know. Um, I can do that too. And then you can add a tab, whichever you want. Because I have other people. Okay, so as I was saying, I have other people that I can send the other two to. So Jan, if you'll let me know which two you would prefer to have, the ones with the tabs already or the ones without. Um, then I'll use the other two for other people. And uh, these spools are going to Debbie Vignola for her challenge. I'm going to try and get them out either today or tomorrow. Probably um, mail them on Saturday morning because uh, I have some other things I want to get done and then just go once to the post office. So the spools are my day 15 from Crafting Every Day in May with Jan as the host Jan's crazy life they're also number 19 in my hashtag DWPB 100 things challenge dances with pit bulls 100 things challenge uh, so four spools and then day 16 which was Wednesday is the four Prima IC cards um, using the Prima wild and free paper and that's also number 20 in my hashtag uh, dances with Pit Bulls 100 Things Challenge. So I hope you like them. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel. Um, subscribe if you're not already. Hit the little bell to get notified when I'm uploading videos. And comment below. I love hearing your comments. I can't always reply to all of them, but I do at least try and acknowledge them with a little heart like button or something. Um, and then if you ask questions or something, I usually do try and answer those. Uh, and some days I'm, I have more time to comment than others. So anyway, um, thank you all for participating in my channel. Please come back. I have more coming. Um, obviously with crafting every day in May, I'm doing a lot of crafts. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy and come back again. Talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace. Until the next time.